Right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's cryptic crossword for Wednesday, March 20th. It is set by Jack. I took a quick peek through the clues and uh, again, no idea about many of these, so this could be a tough one. Supply hard up state with no exposure to outside world. Or maybe it's state with... Um, Maybe it is some country that's cut off Korea or North Korea. Um, I'm wondering if hard up could be the word hard written backwards, although that would make more sense with a down clue. Hard can be H. Um, what would supply be? Is maybe supply is the definition. Yeah, no idea about this. Um, Let's try one down. Share of profits below expected value. It might be simply a double definition. Share of profits are below expected value, but could it also be a hidden clue within profits below? No, I don't think so. Um... Well, this one catches my eye because of the number. Sequence obtained from irrational number like 1.618. Is that, um, isn't there a constant E, which is like pi? Let me uh, pause and look that up. No, it's actually the golden ratio which is denoted by the Greek letter phi. Uh, oh, but golden ratio. Um, so I think it's, that's a five letter word. And ah, uh, yeah, so it is obtained from irrational. Um, so it's hidden within irrational. And then number like 1.618 is a ratio. All right. Uh, does that help my supply hard up state? No, it does not. All right, how about friend of Dorothy embracing man in city? Well, friend of Dorothy is slang for a gay person. Um, but I wonder if it is maybe a f one of the um, three people... Dorothy helps. Uh, there's the Cowardly Lion, the Tin Man, and um, the Scarecrow. Oh, and Toto, I suppose. Uh, but is there another Dorothy, famous Dorothy, who has a famous friend? But I think it's going to be a seven-letter city. Lion has the most promise, I think. So, um, would it be L, I, and end in O, N, um, Lisbon, uh, <laughs> it was six letters, but it's not, uh, what's a city, maybe the I is there, No, nothing is coming to me. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going back to uh, Toto. If Ron is the man, we have Toronto. There we go. All right. Um, worry about appearing in newspaper. Well, four-letter word ending in T for worry would be fret. Oh, uh, they could have had some worry about appearing on guitar, but um, how would Fret be appearing in newspaper? As uh, there, what, what's another word for worry? No, not uh, thinking of it. Uh, let me do these downs since we have um, 
And I'll try three down first. Recluse, beginning to appear. Agnostic is powerless. Um, so either it's going to be a word for a recluse or powerless. But I am I'm wondering if it could be recluse as the definition. Beginning to appear would be A, and then I wonder if it's a word for agnostic that has a P in it, and we remove the P because it would be powerless. What's a recluse beginning with A? No, I'm not thinking of it. All right, let's try the ones beginning with O. University. Don's got upset after pop, or about, excuse me, popular excursion. Well, when I see popular excursion, our minds just put the, okay, they've put those words together, so popular excursion, but really this, there's no such thing as a popular excursion. I mean, that's not a phrase. So I'm thinking the definition will be an excursion. Um, and so maybe... Um, Well, now I'm not sure because Don's got upset. Sounds like we anagrammed the Don's, but that's four letters. Popular can be in, which would make six letters, but then what do we do at the university? Uh, excursion to maybe is an anagram. Our um, incursion would be putting words in, but maybe excursion means you put the letters on the outside. Oh, I don't know where to go with this. Um, the obvious university would be Oxford, but um, I don't think we can get that from a wordplay. Subtle, meaning in obvious jokes. Um, I'm wondering if jokes could be an anagram indicator for obvious. Um, and it would be a definition would be subtle. We put something for meaning in an anagram of obvious, um, oblivious. Well, that would be putting L-I inside it. No, I don't think that's right. Okay, give evidence, providing observer, in hearing, supports trial. Ah, so I think just because we've had some other clues recently where... Um, we had a trial, can be a test. I'm wondering if it could be testify. Observer in hearing. Oh, that might be a homophone. And that supports trial. So trial is test and then IFY has to be observer in hearing. Yeah, I don't quite get that. Maybe it's some other form of the word, but I'll leave it for now. All right. Um, monasteries repeated planning application. Uh, could it be an actual monastery in Britain or Ireland. Repeated planning application question marks. I think that's going to be a bit of a jokey one, but there might be some repeated words. Um, what would planning application be? 
No. Exit is unconventional and quite wrong. Well, I want it to be a way out, which is an exit. Oh, an unconventional way out man. And oh, it's a triple definition. We don't get too many of those. So if your estimates are very wrong, they would be way out. All right, do those letters help us? No, I don't think so. No. Who published articles in German about scientific topics originally? I want this to be one of uh, those clues like every man usually gives us every week where we take the starting letters or the ending letters of, a, of the words in a phrase. Uh, so P-A-I-G-A-S-T-O because I can't get the W-P to work. Uh, but maybe it's... Um, I think it is going to be an and lit. I think it's going to be a, a German scientist, maybe. But it might be German definite articles, um, das, der, about scientific topics originally. Maybe we just take the first letters of scientific topics. Oh, yes, we do. And uh, so A, our one in German is ein, then our ST, and our other ein, Einstein. I like that clue. That's a good one. Uh, I don't think those are going to help our downs. Well, at least I know it's not oblivious. Subtle. No, nope, I'm not saying it. Harry essentially snubbed England after losing almost everything. They love uh, these clues about the royal family. Um, Harry essentially could be the middle, either the, the R or it could be the ARR. As Harry essentially snubbed England after losing almost everything. No, not seeing it. Uh, cycle around French city alone. Um, I'm wondering if it could be A French city and you cycle the letters of it and you get something for a loan. Well, only would fit. Oh, yes. Yeah, so Lyon is the uh, French city. That's good. Now, I think it's going to be maybe a Tance, T-A-N-C-E, or T-E-N-C-E, -E, ending. Or it could be jokes, and it might be a plural word, like T-I-N-G-S. What would that be? No, and now our university Don's got upset. Um, an excursion would be an outing. I quite like that. Um, about popular. Well, in is popular. Um... Yeah, it doesn't quite work with the university 
university or is it just the U Downs? Oh, we do have the word got. Ah, that is so sly. The word dons, I mean, you see university dons and you immediately think of uh, academics, but dons is a verb here. So the letter U for university puts on an anagram of got, and all of that is around in for popular. Oh my goodness. My brain is going to need a rest after all of this. All right, does that help now with our monasteries repeated planning application? No, it does not. All right, staunch supporter of Q Gardens. As staunch can be a verb, as in to staunch the flow of blood. Um, and then a supporter of Kew Gardens. What do you call in the garden when you put a, uh, a wooden stick beside a plant to uh, support it? Um, no, I can't think of it. Part of rain is pale reminder about failing again. Ooh, part of rain. I wonder if it could be, oh, um, interregnum or something like that, or is there, I think that's going to be the definition. Yeah, but maybe not, but um, I could see that and then but what is a pale reminder? I do wonder about failing again. Maybe we anagram again and put that inside. Pale reminder. <laughs> no, that doesn't make any sense. Way of cooking donuts with old jam. Maybe it's a way of cooking. Uh, donuts. Could they just be um, O's? Um, old is O. Jam. Of course, could be another meaning of the word jam. We just immediately think it must be a filling for a donut. All right, divulge Jack's role. Well, Jack is our setter. However, we've also seen where Jack put his name in the crossword and it was a sailor, right? Oh, no, actually, that was Boatman I'm thinking of, but a Jack could be a tar. So I think it's going to be a word for divulge, um, reveal. Jack's role. So it could be my something, my part, im, im part. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So Jack is, he's saying, so that's the same as I'm, and a role is a part. Oh my goodness. Eradicate source of nationalism potentially, potentially, I can't even read now, my brain is so worn out, eradicate. No, reporter's way to reach source. Ooh. Well, reporter is often edge for editor, even though an editor isn't really a reporter. Um, well, of course, um, could also be a homophone indicator. 
that somebody reports a way, maybe like a street or a road, to reach a source. Could it be a homophone of road? Um, no, not sure. Writer was aware of inside information. Um, something new, maybe, was aware of inside information. Uh, I can't think of another phrase. I think that's going to be the definition, inside information. No, trial clears officer in police force. So I think, do we get a word for trial and we remove something for an officer and we get a police force? Or maybe we get start with the police force, remove the officer and get a trial. Yeah. All right, let's go back to the Downs author right to lift hearts as an aside. Uh, so I think the definition is going to be as an aside, unless it's a 13 letter uh, author's name, which seems unlikely. And as an aside, I'm thinking it's going to be some kind of adverb, uh, tangentially or something like that. But it might start with an author's name and then an R for write to lift hearts. Um, well, H can stand for hearts. So maybe you just move the H up as an aside. Um, no, I think I'm going to need more letters for that one. Constant changing of fads and taste. Um, oh, so it's nine letters, and I'm just saying that fads and taste add up to nine letters, and maybe we have to change them or anagram them. And I can see we have steadfast, which is constant. Oh, thank goodness. It's been a while since I got a, a clue. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me, is that going to help Harry? Essentially snubbed after losing almost everything. No, and how about my staunch supporter? No, uh, the D also maybe a cooking, cooking donuts, of course, could mean we anagram donuts. That would be six letters with old. Ah, yeah, no, don't see that. All right, let's go back to the downs. Opponents in game involved in sequence played with different sides. Ooh. Well, opponents in a game, I'm wondering if that could be in chess, W and B, white and black, are in a bridge, so north and south are partners, so maybe N and E or S and W involved in sequence. Um, played with different sides. 
but uh, I'm wondering about um, a game like snooker or billiards where you can put side on the ball, side spin, and then of course there are the sides of the table. Could it be snooker? But I think they, some letters have to go inside a word for a sequence. Now, uh, fructivorous, I don't think I've seen that word before. I presume it means something that eats fruit. Insects, food. Um, well, fruit fly is eight letters. Fructivorous. Insects, food. Maybe it is a fructivorous insect. No, I'm not saying it. Apprehensive, rising star, confused, over the lines. I'm thinking it's going to mean apprehensive. And so something like fearful or, um, oh, there's some word, um, not bearful, terrible, um, you know, um, but then rise, so I'm confused because rising star suggests we have star backwards, R-A-T-S, but then confused suggests we anagram star over lines, so maybe we put two L's in the middle. Yeah. Confusing. All right. Signs of division in firm lead to insolvency. Yikes. Uh, of course, it could be led to insolvency, but I think it's just, I think it's going to be a word meaning insolvency and signs of division in firm is the word play. Well, firm can be simply CO or ink, but I think it might also be firm as in hard or stiff or uh, solid. Signs of division too, could that be, uh, is there some letter for a mathematical division? But I think it's going to be something like cracks or, um, no. All right, we have the first letter for this. Get rid of undesirable impulse under pressure. Well, I think the P is our pressure, and we're going to put undesirable impulse underneath that. And it's going to mean get rid of. Ooh. I should be able to come up with let me pause sip my water and think about that ah uh, okay i thought of an itch and then that forms pitch to get rid of to pitch something now our reporter's way to reach source a uh, tributary uh trib is a newspaper uh Porter's way. Nope, don't see it. And now our, oh, that H, so probably a T in front of it, or a C or an S, P possibly. Let me pause and think about that one. No, nothing is coming to me on that. 
I'm still not clear on the definition versus the wordplay. All right, still nothing on my fructivorous insects food. Um, flies something. Oh, no. Well, subtle meaning. This one should be gettable. I'll think about it. All right. I, I thought of the word overtones, which I suppose something can have overtones. It's maybe not obvious. Although I think undertones might be more subtle and, of course, a better band. Um, and then, oh, so obvious then I realize is overt. And ones are jokes, as in when someone tells a joke, you say, that's a good one. That's, um, I don't know, I think it is accepted crossword ease, but to me, that's such a, you really have to be in on crosswords to know that they will use ones for jokes. Anyway, that's, I think, what that is. Oh, I am at past the 30 minute mark, so let's check it. It is right. All right. Um, does that help with my monasteries? Maybe it's another word for a monastery. What would it end in? E R S E E A S T. Repeated planning application. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of some terminology for a planning application that does have the question mark, so it may be a very um, cryptic way of describing something as a planning application. Something please? No. I think I'm going to go ahead and reveal this one and see and what it is. Uh, chartreuse. Wow. So, I, you know, I know chartreuse as a color. I think there is a monastery of chart. Short, short, something like that. Um, and then I can see maybe it's chart reuse as a repeated planning application. But that seems um, quite a stretch. Let me uh, pause and look up uh, chartreuse. Yeah, there was Chartreuse du Liget, was a monastery of monks of the Carthusians order. So there you have it. Um, and I think it must be Chart Reuse. That is, uh, I'm glad I revealed that one because I think I would never have come up with that. Maybe because I only know Chartreuse as a color. All right, now my recluse beginning to appear agnostic is powerless. Um, let me pause and think about that one. Uh, okay, so I was trying to think of words for agnostic. And I thought of skeptic. And if you drop the P and you put the A for beginning to appear, then you get ascetic, which I'm not sure an ascetic is necessarily a recluse, um, but I suppose it's close enough. Um, all right, so that should help with Harry essentially snubbed England. Is it? Yeah, maybe Harry is the... Um, the definition to Harry to 
bother to annoy? Or is it after losing almost, oh, maybe it's almost everything. No, I'm going to go ahead and reveal this one too. Persecutes. Ah, so it is Harry is the definition. Essentially snubbed England after losing almost everything. I don't see the wordplay here other than England is E after losing almost everything. Now we're going to have to look over on 15 squared to understand that one. All right, share of profits below expected value. Uh, so I think it's going to be a, an AGE word, a leakage, um, share of profits, and then below expected value. Well, maybe it's share and we get profits. Ah, uh, so maybe um, wage, could that be profits below something for expected? Oh, expected value could be par. So maybe it's par something and it's a share. <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, let me pause and think. I, I like par for expected value. And we put something for profits below that, and it gives us a share. I have, of course, it's a partake. Now, I find share is a... Yeah, no, actually, now that I think of to partake in something is to share in it. Yeah, all right. For some reason, that just seemed... A bit of a stretch, but I can see it now. And take, of course, was the uh, profits. So Fred still, still seems to fit here, but I'm not getting the newspapers, but let's check it. It is correct, so we'll have to look at 15 squared to understand it. Now, supply, hard up state. Supply, I'm thinking again, is the definition. Hard up could be poor state with no exposure. Now I'm going to reveal this one. Perda. Oh, I've, I know the phrase somebody is in a state of perda. Oh. So it's an anagram of hard up. And does it mean no exposure to the outside world? I think it may be. Uh, let me pause and check. Yes, Purda is a religious and social practice of gender partition prevalent among some Muslim and Hindu communities. Um. And so, in that sense, I suppose, no exposure to the outside world. And um, so, I oh, supply, I think, instead of supply, I think we have to read this as a supply hard up. And then the definition, I think, is the state with no exposure to outside world. Yikes, that's a tricky one. All right, let's try this long 13 letter as an, oh, um, now I'm thinking parenthetically. Uh, can I spell it or parenthetical? So author might be pen, right? I don't see any other author's name in there. To lift 
hearts. Well, there's the H for hearts. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm not seeing that. So, and is there, is it an anagram? No, I don't think so. We'll have to rely on 15 squared again. God bless them. Uh, you don't have any letters for that one. Let's try 17. Part of rain is pale reminder uh, about failing again. So maybe actually it's a, a word that means failing again. It begins with R-E. And I was seeing if it might be a hidden clue, but I don't think so. Now let's reveal this one. Relapsing. Okay, so it is failing again. Part of, well, I can see we have rain. Uh, we have part of rain. is pale reminder oh sorry no it's um if you start with the r of first r of reminder and work backwards we have relapsing hidden in there so usually when it's a hidden clue that's in reverse, oh, okay, so it is about, tells us, yeah, part of this about, and the whole thing means failing again, yikes. Now our fructivorous insects food. Yeah, not uh, seeing that and so this video isn't too long i'm going to go ahead and reveal it i'm sure most of you will have got this one element okay um oh boy so element i think is an old word for food i think it comes from the french if i my French memory is correct. And what we have is an ant eating a lime, and therefore this is a fructivorous insect. Uh, that is just a level of uh, crypticism that is beyond me at the moment. I aspire someday to be able to read a clue like that and say, ah, I bet they're going to put the name of a fruit inside the name of an insect. But uh, I am not there yet. All right. Apprehensive rising star confused over lines. Well, apprehensive could be nervous. Um, do we see a rising star? It could be. Oh, actually, the sun, our own star, is rising. And around that, we have... Ah, we have the word over is confused or anagrammed. And so the rising sun lines the anagram of over or surrounds it. Wow. Oh, Jack, you know, you're on my uh, list now of <laughs> setters that uh, I need to be very wary of. Now, reporter's way to reach source reporter's way I can just think of a word like uh, tool let's check it no oh oh so pitch was wrong ah wow so that's interesting so now if I look at then at the uh, reporter's way to reach source, no, I'm going to reveal it, root. Uh, so I was right uh, that it was a homophone for a way. I just didn't think of a root. And 
that is going to give you a word for source, or that is how you will reach the word source. All right. Um, ah, so then um, an urge would be an undesirable impulse. I think pitch was um, not as good as purge, obviously, but uh, I think it almost worked. Um, now our trial forces officer in police. Well, I wonder about a stress could be a force. Um, yeah, let's check it. It is right. Um, I think I just got that by saying it probably ended in ESS and stress, I think is the only thing I can think of. Uh, but how is trial clears officer in police? No, I don't, um, don't see that. All right. Oh, 21 ends in an I. So maybe it is a way of cooking. Uh, no, maybe it's, um, maybe it's an old jam. <laughs> Could that be an old piece of music? And they're playfully re referring to it as an old jam. No, I'm going to go ahead and reveal that one. Ah, tandoori. All right. Um, I presume that's a way of cooking. Donuts might be the two O's. Maybe. With old jam. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. All right, staunch supporter. No, gonna reveal it. Stem, of course. I did, I did again. Uh, you know, I'm <laughs> seeing the silver lining. Uh, that I did see that it would be a word for staunch, to staunch the flow of blood, to stem the flow. And of course, a stem is a uh, supporter of plants. Now, my opponents in game, involved in sequence, played with different sides. Well, if it is maybe S and S and E or S and W. Um. Involved in sequence. I'm wondering if it's something like swathes could be sides. Let's check it. No. <laughs> Scalene. Oh my goodness. So I pres uh, that's a triangle where all three sides are different, right? Is a scalene triangle. Um, what are the opponents in a game? Uh, they are, I think, east and north. Again, I'm on the right lines. I just don't follow through or consider all the permutations. And I think the sequence is a scale. Yikes. Uh, but played? What's the played? Is it an anagram of a sequence? No, I don't see that. All right, uh, eradicate, source of nationalism, potential, potentially, I just can't say potentially today, eradicate, so it's going to be uh, some decapitate. Well, that fits. Let's uh, check it. No, so let's reveal it. Deracinate. Okay. Source of 
Actually, I don't fully understand that. Our writer was aware of inside information. No, I'm going to reveal that. Felt tip is a writer. Oh my goodness. And was aware of is felt. And inside information is simply a tip. Oh. Wow. All right, signs of division. Oh, I'm wondering now if it is a mathematical uh, word, a plural. Infirm leads to insolvency. Uh, what, what even fits here? I do wonder if it could begin with CO, but then what's insolvency? Now I'm going to reveal it. Solidi. Uh, firm is solid. I think I even said that. And the lead to insolvency is simply the I. Let me look up solidi, solidi and see what that is. Yeah, the solidus is the forward slash that is used to represent division and fractions. So the plural solidi. Oh my goodness. So I think that's everything. Let's uh, check all. Yeah, nothing else disappeared. Uh, let's go over to 15 squared. All right, today's blog is by Lunapic. Jack is the Guardian Inquisitor this morning. That's uh, true. Phew, that was tough. I think I've solved the puzzle correctly, and I think I've managed to parse everything. So even uh, this, I presume, a regular or someone who is uh, very familiar with these cryptic crosswords struggled with it a little bit. Uh, so let's see, we may have to go down to the comments, maybe look for a KVA to uh, help us with some of these. Uh, the first across I wasn't sure about was worry uh, about is reappearing in the Financial Times. Uh, I need to add the FT to my list of short newspapers that can be used in these. So using a plan once may be chart use, so presumably repeating this. So yeah, that was what I thought it was, but yikes. So Harry is persecute. Um, oh, per se is essentially. Snubbed is cut. England, after losing almost everything, is simply E. Oh, I think, I'm not sure that... I think that was just needed for the surface and to make it funny. Um, but in a regular crossword, I think uh, just saying England would have been enough to give us the E. All right. Uh, next one I wasn't sure about was 21. So way of cooking. Donuts. Oh, donuts are Tory, the plural of Taurus and old donuts with old is and o jammed in with old jammed into donuts wow very tricky um yes yeah, so it been 24 eradicate ah, the source of nationalism is the n and uh, and then it's an and lit. Deracinate means remove the root of. Eradicate source of nationalism potentially. Yeah, okay. That's a good one. Um, 27. Uh, so distress is the trial. Wow, that's a very... Um, non-obvious word replacement i think in the wordplay to read trial and think of distress and then you realize you have to remove the di mm. not sure about that 
How about testify? Uh, if providing homophone of I test, I supporting test. Wow. Hmm, not sure about that. Parenthetical. Oh, author is simply parent. Huh. And write is ethical, but you lift the H for hearts. Wow, that's so convoluted. Uh, scalene, so east and north, yes, are involved in a scale, a sequence. So that is how I read it, but uh, very, very tricky. Um, so very hard going. Uh, stem. No, I don't think I don't think it's anything to do with the modern abbreviation of STEM. Uh, all right. Oh, Lunapic appears in the comments to say I missed the real theme of the puzzle, which was mathematics. Ah. Ratio. Einstein. Hmm. All right. Um, anyway, that was a very tough one, and I've wasted almost an hour of your time. I feel bad for that. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope the rest of your day is better than this.